One burning question I've been dying to ask you. Okay. Um, and it's, it goes back 2005 again. Okay, goes. Uh, I'm pretty okay. sure you've heard this like, <laughs> probably 500 times now. But um, only. What, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what was the emotions in the dressing room at halftime? At halftime, I, we were very, very down. You know, you can imagine we were preparing for the final 10 days, you know, and uh, only for this game. You prepare 10 days, and after 45 minutes, you feel down. So it was like, we couldn't believe it, we couldn't believe it. And I, I don't think we played that bad at the halftime. I think we just, it was quite equal game. Of course, they scored the one first goal, but then we had a penalty appeal, you know, Nesta fall down yeah. on, on the ball and referee could have given us uh, the penalty, but they didn't. And uh, we were arguing, they made it a break, 2-0, 3-0, so, so we were, everyone was just sitting at, the, at, the, at his place and just head down and just Quiet, it was quiet. Nobody was speaking quiet. Like, first three, four, maybe five minutes. Ain't so long, five minutes, yeah, nobody yeah. speaking. No yeah. it, it, it feels like an hour, yeah. you know? And, uh, well, then Benitez came and he was trying to give us some courage, give us some confidence. He, he said, uh, okay, boys, we will have a plan B. <laughs> uh, we're going to put Didi Haman on Kaka because Kaka was playing yeah. uh, really well. So yeah. we had to stop him playing. So put the Didi there and we played three at the back, uh, five in the middle. And uh, he put the Stevie Gerard higher next to Milan Baros. And, you know, Benitez said, okay, Didi, you're going to play against Kaka. Stop him playing. It was working. Then he said, Stevie G, you'll be playing uh, like nearly like second striker because if you have if you've got some crosses into the box, you'll be there. You can finish it with a header. Boom, what? goal. You know, cross from the yeah, side. Perfect, Stevie yeah. G header. By the way, it was difficult header. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's not easy. It wasn't that the, the the cross was not that pace pace was not that high. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. But the pace. direction he got on the ball. He, yeah. he hit it. Uh, he, that's only him can finish it like this. And, uh, and then he said, and maybe we can score a second goal and we can go back to the game, they can get a little bit nervous. And this happened, and I, scored, I scored a second goal <laughs> yeah. and uh, they couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I, mean, I, I remember Ancelotti because I was playing on the right side. He was just standing, <laughs> thinking, what's going like, on? What's happening? What's going on? And then 3-3, free, free, you know the story. So, yeah, of course. So, but, that was brilliant that, you know, any, everything what he said uh, was working on the second half. But it's a one more story, I didn't say it. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe it's new for you, but you didn't know that. Uh, when we came back to the dressing room and uh, Benitez uh, arrived, he said, uh, Jimmy Traore. No, he said, Jimmy. Sh no, he said, Traore. He even said, he didn't, even didn't say he Jimmy. Said, yeah. Traore, shower. Okay. Yeah, yeah shower. How? Wow. So, well, okay, Jimmy went to the shower. Okay, Benitez had, had his speech. He said, tactically, how, what are we going to do? But suddenly, Steve and them arrived and he said, uh, Rafa, I can't play. I, I feel uh, my hamstring, I can't play. Oh, uh, Benitez was not, was not happy because he already sent the Traore to the shower. So he sent uh, Paco, his assistant coach, for Traore, for Traore into the shower and tell him he took him back. Oh. <laughs> So he was he was taking the shower already, and oh. uh, and then uh, he told him, Jimmy, you go you back, Stephen, I'm a singer. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, really, he really. Believe it. So he he went back and he was starting again, putting his clothes on, wow. and and uh, you know he was then he was playing second half and he was playing well. Got him at the most imagine, confidence. Him, imagine, imagine yeah, in yeah. his head, imagine how yeah. how was it? And Benita said, Jimmy. It was just tactical reason why. <laughs> no, 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 no. We still, we still, we still believe in you. you know? oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good way to motivate him, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, so he was, he can say though. What yeah, can he yeah, say? Yeah, you know? yeah, he, he had to say something to him because you know, put him, uh, put him uh, like into the shower, and then uh, need him for, to go out and yeah. play against him. How you need to explain him or tell him something? So that's, yeah. he took him a little bit aside and uh, on the side, and uh, he tell him that come on and. Uh, and Jimmy, then uh, I think he, he was uh, he saved the goal one uh, yeah. in one situation, you know, and yeah. uh, he played really well. And uh, but I, I it was funny because Didi Haman, 
he was thinking that he's changing, the, he's replacing uh, Jimmy Traore. Right. So did did he went out for yeah, warming yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then, uh, and then uh, when we, we when we came out for the second half, did he <laughs> sing Jimmy? Why are you singing? Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can try and help me. <laughs> and, and then did he and did he say? I'm playing, I'm playing or not? He said, yeah, 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 but instead of uh, Steve Inova, yeah, there is arm swing injury. I said, oh, okay, okay, okay. Amazing story, man. Yeah, wow. that was, that's, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. the story. I didn't know that. Yeah. Right. Uh, I mean, you see, I knew I will surprise yes. <laughs> you, you, you with something, that, yeah. you know? Do you think it's this coming, is the year? Yeah, coming. I think it has to be this season, right? I mean, yeah. you know, we say that almost every year, but yeah. I think yeah. this year you're just looking at the team itself. I mean, how long has it been now? I forgot. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep repeating <laughs> it, Nick. That's the only thing he can harp on. Yeah, we, we didn't sign Martin Atkinson, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's your 12th player. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, yeah, but I mean, even yeah. if you look at last few games, I think the mentality that the team showed yes. towards the end of the game. Yeah, it, mental strength. Yeah. Never say no attitude that. You probably used to see the likes of Dirk Hout running around the pitch last time. Yeah. You know, and even though you're four one up and it's still just relentless and you look at Firmino and crew as well right now who's always running towards the dying minutes. And even though they're three nil up, they still want to be four nil up. Yes. I think the mentality is that champions yeah. mindset that mm. probably the previous managers after Benitez maybe struggled to actually yeah. put in the team. I think it's just the quality of the players. They're just yeah. yes, it's yes, the best yes. team Liverpool yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know uh, Salah, you know, I uh, never He's been brilliant so far, you yeah. know. He's, I never expected him scoring the, as many goals as he did, mm. you know. And uh, I think winning the Champions League trophy gives this team an edge that they can do it, that they are able to, you know, be mm. really, really good team. And uh, this is next step to win the Premier League. That's what I think that's what the players want because they know it's been a long time that uh, it has. we've been it. Yeah, it has. And it makes a difference, isn't it? Because as you can see, like the first couple of games this season, although Liverpool have not you know, their performance is slightly different from last season. They haven't like showed up 100%, but they still win it dirty, as yeah. you would say, right? Yeah, exactly, they, they fight, they fight they for fight the win. They fight for it, yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's the strength of the champions, winning the games when you're not playing well. Yeah, exactly. that's like the game against you know, Leicester, the 92nd-minute penalty, yeah. even United. It's the last 10 minutes of the game, I mean... Sheffield United, United game as well. The Sheffield United game, obviously it's a bit of late. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Well, still, That's another one. The win. These games, if you win these games, you give your, yourself a chance winning the winning the trophies. That's for sure. That's for sure. What was it if, why do you think you never won the league title? That's because we didn't win these games. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. We were always able to play well against uh, Menu, Arsenal or Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Our, you know, when we play against two teams, we were maybe better. We had better statistics. But we, we we lost always points against relatively the smallest, smallest teams. teams. Still, you won a hell of a lot of trophies in that 2001, 2002. Yeah. You know what I mean? Michael? Yes, <laughs> yes. But it was only the cup trophies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I never win. We, 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 we came second once. You know, we were close, but uh, not enough. You are not good enough. That's simple as that. <laughs> <laughs>